Additive manufacturing in the aerospace sector is not a new venture. Emirates Airlines explored additive manufacturing back in 2014 to help produce interior components for their aircraft. During testing, it was found that these SLF printing components are between 9 and 13% lighter than most commonly used aviation plastics. Emirates states that every kilogram costs them $10,000 per year to have in flight. Spread these weight savings across their fleet of over 265 aircraft. We're talking about potentially saving millions of dollars a year just from converting to 3D printed components. This development led to 3D Systems Duraform FR1200 material getting FAR25853 compliant and was later class 1 certified in 2017, approving it for commercial flight. As there are commonly no CAD files available for these components, Emirates uses 3D scanning to reverse engineer components and then uses this mesh file to redesign components to better suit 3D printing. From here they go into rapidly prototyping components before moving into low volume production runs. A good example of rapid prototyping is Airbus. Airbus had a seat component that was no longer available from the OEM and the injection molding tool had been destroyed. They were able to reverse engineer this component and have it ready for use within one week. Airbus has found that they can reduce weight on the A380 by up to one ton just by converting to 3D printed parts. This is due in part to a lighter material, but also to the ability to be able to redesign existing components to be lighter and stronger without being limited to conventional manufacturing processes. In 2016, Airbus took this a step further after they received the first two production models of the Leap 1A engine for the new Airbus A380neo. Developed by GE and Saffron, the Leap engine is the first engine to use 3D printed fuel nozzles, which helps to reduce fuel consumption by 15% and lower CO2 emissions by up to 50 Meanwhile, NASA and SpaceX have both been experimenting with 3D printed rocket engines and components. In 2017, SpaceX tested a jet engine that was made up of over 40% 3D printed parts. And in 2018, NASA successfully hot fire tested its new 3D printed combustion chamber. These huge advancements are helped in part with rapid prototyping that is only possible via additive manufacturing. 3D scanning and new simulation programs for optimizing and lightweighting components. Research and Markets has projected that additive manufacturing in the aerospace sector will increase by 23% between 2017 and 2021. As companies realize the massive cost saving and design advantages of this technology, the industry will continue to shift from conventional manufacturing and seek lighter and stronger components. Amiga Engineering is proud to be a part in the development of the Australian aerospace sector. AS9100D certified and able to provide the most extensive range of manufacturing capabilities under one roof in Australia. This includes the extensive range of metal 3D printing and polymer 3D printing, advanced CNC machining and much more. For more information, visit our website or contact us below. Oh,